Hello guys, this is RC Shim. Today I'm gonna try something different. I really wanna do a one cut video, a one take video. So I will try to have as little bloopers as possible. And for this reason I wrote myself a list which is mounted on the cam gimbal. <laughs> so uh, let's see how this works. Um, the main idea is I want to do more videos uh, and giving you short updates of what's coming next on my channel and yeah, let's, let's see how this works and let me know how this works for you in the comments. Um, so where do we start? Um, I will call this the RC Shim update. If you have a better title, let me know. <laughs> I'm not sure about this yet. Um, yeah, the first first topic on my list is uh, bad drones spying uh, versus telephoto lenses. Um, I've, I found a few uh, very good examples uh, in local newspapers how the media is, is rallying against our hobby and how they want to make those drones uh, look bad in the sky. And they always... Well, many, many people may have... Um, may have problems seeing a drone flying over their property and they feel like someone invades their privacy, which at some point is, is okay. Uh, I can understand why that is so. But the, the thing with, with uh, drones and spying on someone, that's, that's just ridiculous from a technical point of view. And uh, there are two or more good examples where people tried to spy with drones and then showed how really good uh, it is to spy with telephoto lenses and how how stealthy you are and how much better pictures you get of the people you want to spy on. So don't be afraid of drones. They have wide angle lenses. They uh, hover in the sky and they're not silent. So you notice them and those telephoto lenses, they can, uh, they can take a, a close up photo from you from a few hundred meters away. So uh, let's just, yeah, and, and to us, uh, maybe it should be a good idea to not fly over, over property and to talk to people and uh, to take away the fear of invading in their privacy. So hope, hope, uh, this, uh, hope we get past this uh, in, in a few months or years uh, with, with drones being so so negatively reviewed in the public. Okay, so uh, the other very important uh, uh, point on my list is a notice on uh, Bruce Simpson. Um, maybe many of you already have his channel subscribed. He has two channels, uh, XChat and uh, RC Model Reviews. And he made uh, this very frightening announcement that he will shut down the RC model reviews because he basically can't fly in New Zealand because model flying New Zealand and all this, uh, it's, it's, it's not nice to, to hear this story. So uh, what I want to encourage you is uh, go and sign this petition uh, that's down there. Maybe it can help him and uh, I'm sure if he gets more attention now and if his channel numbers rise, he will keep doing his nice videos, his great videos. He's very helpful and very uh, entertaining and very, um, very teaching videos. So hope this, this keeps up as it is. I'm a big fan of his. And uh, one, or, one or two guys of you already noticed his nice, his sweater he, he wore uh, last time with the, with the Fabri logo on it. <laughs> okay, so uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is the pepper box. Shout out to Alex Grief, or better known as IB Crazy. He's the, the crazy inventor of, of really good RC stuff, of really good um, radio stuff, of uh, antennas. And I thought uh, the pepper box for 2.4 gigahertz uh, in, in use by a friend of mine who got really, really good uh, range and coverage with it. And uh, then recently I heard that the pepper box 5.8 is coming out and I got one. I bought it from them and yeah, it's the downside, it's about $100, but 
they put so much effort into building this uh, and it's hand built and it's such a high quality thing and uh, I tried this and I'm really happy with it and I will test it further and maybe I'll do a comparison between the pepper box and the diversity uh, receiver antenna tracker solution I'm, I'm uh, using else. Uh, just a short note on the pepper box it's a directional antenna with 13 dpi uh, antenna gain which is really really high <coughs> and normally with antenna with, with with directional antennas like the spironet patch here which also has 13 dpi uh, they have a very narrow uh, very narrow uh, radiation beam and the pepper box has a really wide wide so it has 160 degree uh, horizontal and 60 degree vertical and uh, I didn't know this first uh, you have to have it in portrait mode or in, in this orientation not in, in white mode so keep that in mind yeah. just a quick showing of this yeah and one thing uh, what's really good tip is um, I spent so many time uh, trying to mount this antenna somewhere or somehow and then I found this easy tip in, in RC Group's uh, thread of the paper box. Someone just used a uh, GoPro, GoPro adapter. And if you have GoPros, you have so many of these uh, 3M tape, double-sided uh, foamy things. And I just built this, this adapter combo here and it's so, so convenient and so, so nice. Of course, this is ugly, ugly mounting at the moment, so that's just for testing. Uh, this will look way better in the future. And the other thing I didn't show you from this tower is the antenna tracker from Immersion. Really happy with it, although I'm not a, fi a fan of super high-tech stuff on the field because normally it keeps you from flying uh, if you cope with complicated tech stuff, but this antenna tra tracker is really nice. So I will do a separate video on this and show you uh, if it's worth your money. And the other thing to show soon is a promising new monitor. Um, it's, um, it has a sunshade, it's the 7 inch almost standard form factor you, you see uh, many occasions now. It has built in battery, it has built in diversity receiver uh, with 32 channels. It has built in DVR which is nice so you can record your flights for safety properties. Uh, and it has, and that's the main feature, it has a thousand candela per square meter of brightness. So that's super bright. Uh, most of the others have uh, a third of this. They have 350 or maybe maximum at 500 candela. So it's very bright. But I'm having some issues that I want to resolve before I really can show it to you. Uh, at the moment the receiver doesn't work as it should. So these are the ground station thingies. Um, another short note, um, I get a lot of inquiries from China as China is trying to promote their toy grade copters. They really want to push it in the market and of course it's nice uh, if you run a channel and, and get, get some stuff to review uh, but mostly they, they send you a toy, toy stuff. One of the toys uh, I saw and uh, that caught my attention is this drone D1 from Geek Buying. And it's really nice because you have the quadcopter in the remote, which is nice. I will show you this 2.3 centimeter uh, size or this one inch quadcopter in a separate review. Um, you might see these three boxes here. Uh, those are three out of four boxes containing a drone D1. What's the story behind this? You <laughs> will see. Uh, and since I tested these uh, Chinese micro or pico drones, I already uh, also got one from uh, Blade. I, I ordered it in a local hobby store to have a good comparison to uh, a well-known brand versus the Chinese models and we'll see how these two compare. So these are the micro drones. Um, and another project I'm working on at the moment is a big 
FPV channel intro collaboration video. So what I want to do is uh, on, on an FPV meeting uh, this year in, in Spitzerberg, I was able to meet so many uh, cool FPV stars there and uh, guys from the FPV scene and it's really felt awesome uh, being there talking to them and getting to know them. And I want to, to make a video which, which resembles a bit of this and I want to uh, have some of the guys that I watch a lot, uh, the channels I subscribe to, uh, I want to see their face in front of the camera and, and introduce them to you. So I hope uh, I can get a lot of it. And if you're on the list, uh, I send out a list to those guys uh, from the channels that I subscribe and then I think make good videos and make, uh, make videos once a month or so. Um, I sent them uh, the inquiry to uh, collaborate with me and a few really big names already agreed. So now please send in your material. Um, I'm sure this will be a nice video. Okay, so that's for the introduction and the last point on the list is already behind me. <laughs> Not going to cheese. Uh, it's Oh. It's a plane that I'm gonna review. I, it was not sent by a shop or something. It, I just it, it caught my attention in one of these newsletters you get. Uh, it's it's aw awful if you get newsletters and and check them out. I saw this laser arrow and it should be around for like two or maybe three years. I didn't see this. Uh, it's from uh, Axion. Xion RC, which seem to be from Belgium. Uh, I hadn't seen this model yet, but what caught my attention is that they sell it for really cheap now. They sold it for 90 euro in a ready-to-radio version. So you have motor, uh, ESC, and servos all all hooked up. You just have to attach the the prop and you have to glue in this because they came so for transport convenience. But it's a really nice uh, delta plane and as you may uh, already noticed I'm quite a lazy guy. I don't want to build much because I have so much planes and, and stuff. I don't want to build much but I hope this delta uh, it's, it's really fast. They say it's about 160 kilometers per hour. Um, it's a front driven prop, not a pusher, which is kind of new for me in these models. I have another one up there, which is the striker with a pusher prop. This one has a puller prop and as I learned from, from Bruce in one of his videos about efficiency of props, the prop in the front is more efficient than in the back because in the back you have a lot of turbulent air hitting the prop and so it's louder and it's less efficient. So pulling configurations are more efficient. Uh, awesome example here, there are videos where you see uh, those deltas standing on their back and doing rocket starts. So it should have enough power and of course I want to try it with maybe a run cam and just a video transmitter on it. So I want to do FPV with it and chase my friends on the field. So. I'm sure this will be a nice plane. Can't wait to test it out, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Okay, so I think that's it for the moment. Um, I think I almost did it without too many bloopers here. Um, don't wanna have to waste time cutting this video. Uh, just uh, posting it so I can get more videos out to you. Because uh, lately I've been a bit lazy, but in the summertime, you know. Uh, so I uh, want to post more regularly. Okay, so thanks for watching this. Hope you liked it. Uh, it's quite new for me to not have the security of uh, being able to cut out some, some uh, points in my video where I forgot English vocabulary. Um, yeah. 
let's just see how this works. Uh, let me know what you think of regular uh, updates. I'm not going to do weekly news because <laughs> it didn't even work for Bruce uh, and it were he's not so weekly weekly news. Uh, just as, as I feel it and as uh, some, some really cool news from the RC scene pop up, I will do these videos. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye.